What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to my kitchen. Man, it feels good to do that intro. In today's video, we're making chicken nuggets, but more specifically, we're making spicy chicken nuggets. If you've ever had them from Wendy's, you know how good they are, but you also know, or maybe you don't, just how bad they are. They're deep fried, loaded down with more fat than they have protein, and honestly, if your goal is to, you know, get all this looking nice and tight, it's not the best option. But today, I'm gonna show you guys a little hack that anybody watching can do, and you're honestly, by the end of this video, gonna be able to make your own spicy, crispy, delicious chicken nuggets. So stay tuned, because this is a good one. In today's video, we will be making anabolic Wendy's spicy chicken nuggets. Not only do we skip the deep frying, so we're cutting way down on fat, it's virtually non-existent, but we're getting over double, even triple the protein without sacrificing on flavor. If you've been craving a 20 piece from Wendy's, but you've also been craving a little attention from your love interest, then look no further than this video, because I'm telling you, it just might change your life. If you're a foodie like me, you understand that uh, a diet that's sustainable is one one that you actually enjoy eating, one where you're not giving up the food you love, you're just making better choices. And if you want the ultimate guide right in your pocket, check out the RJF Anabolic Cookbook, link down below in my description. Seriously, I use this every day, I know what I gotta buy, I know what I gotta cook, I know how to do it, it makes this whole process way easier. So let me tell you, if you've been sleeping on this, it's time to wake up, So I really do believe if you got this and you followed it, it could change everything. Plus you get it one time, you get every future recipe I have for free. All right, now if you guys are ready to get their epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! So the first thing we wanna start with is a chicken breast. The bigger the better, as dad always said. Now let's take a ganders at this thing. See anything wrong here? That right there, that's what's wrong. We're just gonna trim that off. At this point, you can just give that to the dog or throw it away. But overall, a flipper, the only other thing I wanna get rid of is this right here. Last thing you wanna do is bite into that, ruin your whole day. And now that we got all the fat trimmed off, all I wanna do, go in with these scissors and create tiny little bite-sized chicken pieces. Try to keep them all around the same size, roughly the size of a chicken nugget. That way they all cook evenly. Now that our nuggies are created, I'm just gonna weigh out 224 grams. That looks good to me. Then we'll just toss the ones we don't use back in here and we can get to them later. These are our backup nugs. And now we need to let our chicken soak for a little bit before we bread. So what we're gonna do is take a large bowl and pour in some egg beaters. You can also use egg whites or you can use unsweetened almond milk. Doesn't really matter. I just find this is a little more adhesive. And then this here would be fine if you don't wanna do this next step, but I think if you do the next one, you're gonna love the flavor. We're gonna add some pickle juice. This is a little trick I learned from Mason Woodruff. The amount doesn't really matter right here. I'm just gonna pour it in until I'm comfortable with it. Now I'm just gonna go in, give it a quick whisk, nothing too crazy. And then I'm just gonna put the chicken breast down inside and let it soak for at least a few minutes. When it comes to that crispy, crunchy breading without deep frying, we only need one thing, and that is some panko style breadcrumbs. Make sure you grab the plain ones because we're gonna be adding our own seasonings. Come on. First thing we wanna do is weigh out 42 grams in a bowl. And why I love these for breading is because they're so light, they're so airy, they're crispy. You really get a lot of volume for very few calories. Then once they're laid out, I'm just gonna spread them out on a baking sheet on top of a piece of foil. And then what I'm gonna do is go in here and spread these out so we get a nice thin layer. And then what we wanna do to make sure this crisps up nice in the oven is hit this entire layer with a light coating and nonstick spread. Just stand back, give her a quick swipe. Woo, woo, woo. And then now we just transfer these to a large breading bowl. Now it's time to spice these up. The first thing we wanna add to our breading is two grams of red cayenne ground pepper. I wanna give you guys a word of advice. Two grams for me is the sweet spot. They're spicy. If you don't really like them too spicy, take it down to a gram. If you want extra spicy, take it up to three or four grams. Any more than that, you're gonna have some problems. Add that right in. Next up, we add three grams of paprika. We add a gram of garlic powder, gram of onion powder, and around a gram of salt, and about a gram of black pepper. And now that we got this immaculate seasoned breading, we're just gonna go with a spoon and mix everything together. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we get to the fun part. I'm gonna reach down in here, grab a couple pieces of chicken, I'm gonna let it drip off, and place these down in our breading. And at this point, there's a couple things you can do. You can shake the bowl around till they're breaded, or if you're filming a video and you don't wanna mess up the angle, you can just sprinkle some on top, flip it over, get a little more. And when you pull it out, you take a look at that. Since it's soaked in our concoction, the breading literally sticks right to it. And then once the nugs are done, I'm actually going to sit them on a baking tray, but what I've done is placed a rack on it so it elevates it. 
Hope the underside get just as crispy as the top. Now I'm just gonna continue breading and placing nuggets on this tray until this thing's filled up. Now as beautiful as these look right here, you definitely don't wanna eat them like this. Not sure exactly what would happen, but I bet it'd be hashtag not good. So what we're gonna do, throw these in the oven at 450 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes. That'll get them nice and crispy and get them just how we want them. Slide them in, timer, and boom. Ladies and gentlemen, when I return, you already know what time it is. Let's go. Boom, baby. After a quick trip in the oven, our anabolic Wendy's spicy chicken nuggets are done. Let me just show you how perfect these come out. If I just take one, grab a knife right down the middle, flip her open, and look at that. That beautiful white meat chicken cooked to perfection. We got the crispy, spicy outer breading. For real, if you give this one a shot, I know you won't be disappointed. All right, baby, we've been staring at these long enough. I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag, and try these things together. You guys ready? Let's go. Boy, does it feel good to be back in this seat eating food. All right, before I try this, keep in mind, I know we are sold out of antibars right now. I'm getting tons of messages. The next restock will be on June 17th, along with the launch of the white chocolate fruity cereal crunch. A lot of people are saying this is our best bar, so mark your calendars. June 17th, think we're gonna do it at like 9 p.m., but follow me on social media if you wanna be there right when the action happens. All right, man, let me grab one of these nuggies. We'll go ahead and do that one right there. Take a look at that, bud. Got that red tint to her. You know she's gonna be fire. Three, two, one, there you go. Wow. Mmm, these are incredible, but when I tell you they're spicy, they're spicy. Ah. When you bake them at 450 degrees, you bake them fast. The chicken cooks quickly and it seems to hold like more juices, at least in my experience. A slower cook with chicken tends to dry it out. When you do it fast and quick, it really seals in that juicy chicken middle. I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. And the best part about a recipe like this, if you wanted to make a ton of them at one time, if your oven's got the racks for it, you can just load up three, four racks, toss them in there. Just cook enough for meal prep for the week or whatever you want to do. You're trying to feed a family? You got a girl that's an eater? Whatever the situation, you can, uh, you can get a lot of these done at one time. And I really believe when you take the time to cook it yourself, you put that magic into it. I mean, in my opinion, this tastes better than a Wendy's spicy chicken nugget, in my opinion. And on top of that, you know it's doing your body some good instead of uh, loading you down with more fat than protein, a lot of extra calories you don't need, you know? Why do that damage to your body just for a little convenience? You put the work in and I promise you, your body's gonna thank you, you're gonna thank you, the miss is gonna thank you, and you make her happy when it's time for your birthday this year, you might get something other than just a pair of socks. Maybe that tropical vacation, maybe a sexy bedtime nighty. I'm just saying. Mm. Now, M, this entire recipe, if you make it exactly how I did it, what you end up with for the whole thing is only 362 calories, two grams of fat, 54 grams of protein, 32 grams of carbs, two grams of fiber. And keep in mind, we had, it was like 16 or 17 chicken nuggets here. We could have made it 20, but if we compare that, the nutrition facts of a 10 piece spicy nugget from Wendy's, we have 470 calories, so over 100 more, 31 grams of fat, which is 29 grams of fat more. And we also have only 26 grams of protein. Proteins. With this recipe, we doubled it. So less calories, less fat, more protein. That's what the that's what the anabolic lifestyle is all about. You make the better choices, you really can't lose. Mm. If you're not a fan of spicy foods, don't you worry. All you gotta do to modify this recipe is cut the red cayenne pepper out, and you can literally just add more paprika, a little more garlic powder, a little more onion powder. But if you just cut that out, this isn't gonna be spicy at all, and that's just a regular chicken nugget at that point. Mm. And since we let it soak in that pickle juice, when you bite it, it's spicy, it's got lots of flavor, but there's a little hint of pickle on the back end. Kinda reminds me of one of my ex-girlfriends. There's always a little pickle on the back end. <laughs> Ooh, we are down to the final nug. Let's go. Mm. Mm. Hot diggity dog. These are absolute fire. Not just from the heat standpoint, but it's overall 10 out of freaking 10. You got an oven, you're gonna need a couple ingredients. You're able to get that butt off the couch, quit watching Netflix and put this together. I'm telling you, you will not regret it. Make this, tag me on Instagram, let me know what you think. And if you got some crumb breading left over, you can just have that as dessert. Mm. You already know if you got the RJF Anabolic Cookbook, it has been updated, so this recipe is now in there. We're trying to make dieting fun again. We're trying to make a diet that works not only for building muscle, losing weight, but for people that love food. Chicken, rice, and broccoli is okay for like a week, but after that, you start feeling like you wanna go make your bed in a cemetery. It's not good, but with a diet like this, uh, it's never been easier. So link down below in my description. If you don't got it, if you do, get that update, son. Appreciate you guys, as always, for checking out the channel. We are back, and better than ever, the content from here moving forward. I'm gonna try to do at least one recipe a week, and I'm gonna try to throw in some vlogs and other types of content just to keep things fresh. If you have any suggestions, y'all let me know down below. What do you wanna see from me? I'm I'm 
gonna actually read the comments and take them into consideration. So anyways, appreciate you guys as always. Smash that thumbs up button, comment down below, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will teach every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Get that bread and dessert. I'm having some bread and for dessert. Oh, my God. Damn.